Hey guys, good afternoon. Hi. You here with Amazing Breaks. I'm Claudette. Becky. We're sisters. <laughs> and uh, we're doing a cooking video uh, again today. Um, I'm sure you guys seen our Shrimp Scampi uh, video. Today we're gonna be doing um, pork chops um, and um, baked apples and some sauteed peppers uh, and some garlic and uh, some um, green beans. some green beans, fresh green beans. You know, so we don't like a lot of canned stuff, but um, we're going to go ahead and go through uh, all the ingredients with you and uh, show you exactly how to do this. We are, you know, on lockdown with the coronavirus right now. Uh, we are in beautiful, sunny Florida. And, um, you know, um, we're trying to bring these videos to you so this way you can do this, you know, at home and, and have yourself a really great meal just as if you were going out to dinner except for in you know the the nice you know quaint surroundings of your own you know home and and your loved ones as well. All right, all right. So uh, video went out and uh, we got some uh, really beautiful. What did he say? Pork chops. Pork chops. All right. Uh, There's like six six pieces. All right. They are very nice. As you can see. No fat. All right and um um. We went ahead and uh, pre-cooked some of the stuff because uh, it, it, it takes a while, some of it. Not a while, but you know, and we don't, we have to, you know, kind of do it in the video. So we wanted to kind of do it, speed it along a little bit. All right. So we went ahead and got fresh green beans and we went ahead and uh, sauteed, uh, steamed them off. And, for, you know, we wash them off and then we take off the ends and, and you know, we put it all in there and then saute a little bit of garlic. And then what we do is we put the green beans in there, string beans fresh all right and you just want to get them to where you know everybody eats their 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 vegetables different you know some likes them soft some likes a little crisp some likes it almost raw we like them cooked you know we're Italian so you like everything to be cooked all right so these are the green beans boy they look, give them a close yeah they are delicious um so that plate is kind of already done which like I said it's, it's a very easy peasy you just and get your string beans, garlic. you wash them off. Garlic. Yep. And they're really nicely toasted. Very. Next, we have our peppers. Uh, we like, you know, the colored ones. We like the... Um, sweetness. The sweetness, <laughs> yes. We like the, uh, the, the uh, what, the orange ones? The yellow ones? And then we like to put, you know, just a little bit of, of green pepper in there. Um, just to kind of, you know, make it colorful. All right, uh, what you do with that is basically you saute those off, the same thing, and some olive oil and some garlic until your desired texture of your vegetable that you like. You like some people, like I said, you like it a little bit, you know, um, crispy. You know, some people like it really well done, you know, so it, it's whatever you like. Um, next, we went and got some fresh apples from the uh, stand, uh, the fruit stand, and um, uh, I think there was like what eight, eight, eight nice red apples. We de-skinned them, and then we went ahead and uh, um, we baked them off in the oven. And if you could see that clearly, with the cinnamon, brown yeah, with sugar, some cinnamon, some brown sugar, butter, yeah, some butter and some nutmeg. And then we just baked it off. And boy, are they good! I mean, I don't know if How you can see them. How long did we have them in the oven? Yeah, we didn't have them in there very long, less than an hour. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Perfect. But that is really nice. The kids are going to love it. Yeah, because they, they are. They're like candy, you know. All right. Uh, next, we're going to be doing uh, the prep. Now, uh, we uh, all the ingredients that you're going to need for your pork chops is your breadcrumbs. Um, we like the, the Vigo. But we also like the Parmesan. Um, but we have the Vigo right now. Um, so you could, you know, use the, the Parmesan or, or the... The Vigo. Um, next. Or the Progresso. Or the Progresso is also very good too. Um, Parmesan style Italian, you know. Um, you just put line it up in a bowl. All right. Next, we have a couple of eggs that you're gonna need. A couple of eggs, depending on how many um, of the pork chops that you're gonna be cooking, it'll be based on how much of your eggs and your your um, your breadcrumbs. All right, um, and uh, Vicky's gonna go ahead and spin off the, the eggs there. 
Two eggs, uh, because there's, you said six? Yep, six pieces. So two eggs we thought we'd start with. Yep. And then uh, we went ahead and filled up the pan. We have a nice deep dish pan. I think you went out and bought a brand spanking new pan. Um, and, you know, you just want to use, you know, some really good olive oil. Um, that's be your best bet, you know. But you could use any oil you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, but like I said, it's better tasting with the olive oil, you know, really. You want to go ahead and preheat your oven, 350 degrees on bake. And, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pre-cook the pork chops on the stove. Then we're going to transfer them onto a baking pan. All right. And we are going to bake them off. Uh, for probably about maybe 20 minutes in the oven. Just get that nice little crisp, you know. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, so, like I said, Vicky's beating the eggs right now. <laughs> then, you know, while that's cooking, you can, um, don't forget, you preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which we'll do that right now. 350 for like 15 minutes, you know, and then you're ready to put everything into the oven. So while we're preparing this here, we'll go ahead and, you know, set the oven there and, and that'll be, you know, already ready to go. All right. All right. Oh boy, those things look good. Uh, as you can see, Vicky, you show them how you're doing that. So you just dip it into your egg. Just swap it around in there. Oh. And that's it. Then you go ahead and put that into your breadcrumbs. Show them the breadcrumbs. And then you just put it into your breadcrumbs. Just flip it around a little bit. Get a nice generous douse of Pro Progresso or uh, Vigo or Planko or whatever breadcrumbs that you like. Um, some people are on a strict diet, so they use certain different kinds of stuff there. Um, and that's it. Nice, generous helping. Uh, you got your, your oven on. I don't know if you have a glass top. We have a glass top. So we have it like on four. And uh, that's it. You you go ahead and line it up. Go ahead and do the next one. I'll show them. All right. And um, as you can see, you just put it in there with your olive oil. And Vicky's about to do her second one right now. And, uh, and that's it. And like I said, uh, it is going to be baking off. And um, that's it. So let me go ahead and uh, pause the video real quick. And, uh, and then we'll be right back. All right? We'll see you in just a couple of seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. to the Amazing Breaks. Amazing Breaks. Amazing Breaks. Claudette. Becky. Sit down. No. And we just finished the pork chops, yes. so we're going to show you. Yeah. We're going to show you that, you know, how the pork chops wait, were wait. done. Is that the boiler? No, nah, sorry. All right, so, hey, Vicki, you want to hold that? Is that okay with you? Oh, okay, yeah. Huh? Right. You switched so. out the pan, right? Yeah. <laughs> so right, so that, that's your pork chops right there. All right, and... Um, all right, we're gonna go ahead and put this back over here. Okay. So we uh, we just made off. Uh, oh wow, that's hot. Yeah, I. <laughs> All right, we just made off some uh, garlic bread here. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah, we toasted off some garlic bread. That's some good stuff. All right, and then uh, Vicky wants to recap with you uh, regarding the uh, ingredients that we need. We did string bean with the string beans. We did the Romano uh, Romano Parmesan, garlic, olive oil. It doesn't matter what kind of olive oil if you do organic or if you do any uh, um, any of the olive oils is fine. So to recap, as far as the ingredients go, you need eggs. Okay, you need olive oil, you need breadcrumbs, and you need a little bit of Parmesan cheese. 
and that consists of all the ingredients that you need. So under five ingredients, you have yourself an excellent doggone meal. All right. So we went ahead and uh, prepared a nice dish here. So you can see this as a presentation. Okay. Everybody coming over? <laughs> yeah, right. And just hold her steady. All right. So you have your, you have your, we did a little bit of a nice fresh salad, nice cold fresh salad here. Did a little bit of cu cucumbers and we decorated with a little kale. We did a little bit of cucumbers, a little bit of tomatoes, a little bit of uh, onions, and we did a little bit of um, uh, vinegar and uh, olive oil. Uh, next, we have our peppers. We did our yellow peppers, a little bit of green peppers. Uh, we, wrote, uh, to uh, we sauteed that off in a uh, garlic and a um, olive oil. And uh, that's it. We just shredded up the, um, the peppers, sauteed it off nice and brown. We went ahead and cooked the garlic bread, as you can see. Um, we used a five cheese garlic bread. Um, very good. Uh, go ahead and turn, turn, turn around. We got some green beans. Green beans. We went ahead and, you know, washed those off. We went ahead and sauteed those off with a little bit of olive oil. Again, a little bit of garlic. A little bit of, uh... Romano. Romano. Jeez. And that's it. And then yeah. the apples. And then our main, we have our baked apples that we did. And we just lined that on, on top of the nice... Um, the pork chop that we did. So there is your complete meal. I am gonna show you here. You have to put it over here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and show you here. Nice, to complete your meal, <laughs> you have your nice white wine, a nice glass, and you have a mangiare. A mangiare. And there is your complete meal. Excellent. So that's it. Vicky's gonna have probably have a, a nice glass of wine with you. I'm not much of a drinker, so Vicky will drink for the both of us. All right. Salute. Enjoy. All right, you guys. God bless you again. God bless you. Stay safe. Uh, during the coronavirus uh, pandemic that we got going on here, we are on lockdown, uh, so we are confined. Um, stay safe with the COVID-19. All right, and um, we'll be bringing... Enjoy dinner. Yeah, enjoy dinner, and we'll be bringing you more crazy, crazy videos. All right, you guys have a wonderful evening. Enjoy. Again, practice social distancing. We love you. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Don't forget... Subscribe, Cheers. please subscribe, thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Bye. Good night.